everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore, and I am sharing a paper pumpkin with you. Look at the cute new box that they're putting them in. They're so cute. So anyway, this is our monthly subscription. For those of you who don't know, Paper Pumpkin is a monthly subscription. You can do it at one month, three months, six months, or a year. And so if the longer you do it, there is a more discounted price, but it's $20 a month. So it is a great bargain for what you get in here. You don't know each month what you get. It could be a 3D project. It could be a card. We don't know what's in each month. But it is fun waiting to see what is inside. So let's open it up. And it, I've already opened this one because I couldn't wait. So it is always comes wrapped really pretty in this pool party paper. And then when you open it, uh, this month we have two ink spots. Each month you get a new ink spot. Sometimes you get two. But you, it is never repeated. The color is never repeated in a year. So you have 12 different ink spots within a year if you subscribe each month. So this month it's Emerald Envy and Melon Mambo and I'm going to put those aside. I check to see which ones are in here. So I have my large pads that I'm going to use but I always keep these and I give them away. And then look at the cute stamp set. These stamp sets are always photopolymer and they're always well worth the $20 a month. This one is watermelons, it looks like. So it says, a little something sweet, kindly deliver to, it's your day, and it, hooray. And then this little one says sweet, and you know that the fruit is real trendy right now, the little fruit um, stamps. So this is super, super cute, and I love watermelon, so this is going to be fun. And then look how stinking cute this set is and you get everything in here so look at how cute this is it has six cards and looks like four bags they're little watermelon bags these are so cute so I'm gonna put this aside here and we're gonna open it up and we're gonna make probably one card in one bag um, Sorry for the glare. I don't know why I'm getting that glare on here. Usually it's fine, but it seems like this paper, maybe once I take the paper off. So we're going to open this up, and the instructions are all included. Everything to make these is included in this bag. You can see there is some baker's twine. Come on, open up. There we go. So we have some mini glue, mini um, dimensionals, some baker's twine, some little clips that are lemon lime twist. We even have our envelopes, our card bases. Look how cute! These are real. These look so much like a backyard party to me. Then we have our little bags. We have four of them. And then there's some banners here that are watercolored. And look at the watermelon tissue paper. How cute is that? Some little leaves and some banners and circles. And then here's our little mini glue dots. All right, so let's get the instructions out here. And let's make one of each of these. These are really great kits for gifts. I've had a few people order them for gifts for like their daughters or grandchildren and they really really love it. They always um, respond and tell me how much they really liked it. So the instruction is step by step. So here for the card instructions and here's the bag instructions. So it says stamp sentiments on banner and envelopes. For ban uh, fold banner on the score lines. All right, so I'm going to grab a banner. And a envelope.
and I'll, I'll have to refer to the picture which helps a lot to see which sentiments oh it just says kindly deliver to and then this one's hooray so let me see if I can get this stuff out of the way so I'll put the instructions right there so the hooray we are going to stamp and you can see the hooray is curved I'm gonna grab one of my clear blocks and let's see it is stamped in the one is stamped in the melon mambo and one is stamped in the emerald envy so the melon mambo is the hooray I need to turn it the other way so we'll stamp that so there's the hooray I'm going to clean my stamp off. I have my stamp, stamp and scrub right here so I can clean off my stamps. And then the other one says kindly deliver to. We'll use that same clear block. I like to, I need to make sure this is straight. So this is a good way, line it up on grid paper and then we'll close this one and do our Emerald Envy on the envelope. I love Emerald. These are two of my favorite colors. So we'll put that up here so we can have room for our address. And then we need a couple leaves. We'll set that aside and we need a yellow watercolored piece so we need one of the square ones and get our card base out and ready to go and we need our little leaves and these are all stickers right here On here it shows two going up let's see yeah two going up one going down so. and it looks like they're hanging off a little bit and a little bit overlapped and then one going down. And we need to get our, what did I do with my hooray? We need to fold on the score marks. It makes it bannered. Just like that that's cute and then it says add the leaf stickers on the yellow wrap the twine and tie a bow so our Baker's twine I always struggle with these bags so <laughs> there's some more um, dimensionals in there It says 16 inches, so let's see. I guess I'll measure it out. Sometimes when I take it with me, I don't have anything to measure, so I usually just do it on the spool. Because usually I take these, well, I, now that school's out, um, I'm not picking up my grandson, but usually I take them with me when we are. I'm waiting in line to pick him up at school. And I work on my kids. I think that's a lot, 16 inches. So I wouldn't waste it. I would just use probably 12, but I guess they just give you enough so you know. I'm going to cut these. 
and then we're going to put our hooray it says use dimensionals to adhere now I have my dimensionals out here so I think I'll just use mine although no these are mini so I think I better use these these are the mini ones so we're going to use that it says use the dimensionals to adhere the banner to the watercolor piece. These little backings are harder to take off. <laughs> so I want that to go kind of sideways. It looks like they got it underneath. Oh, that's stuck already. I think I'm going to have to move it down. I think I would tie the ribbon on after. I'm going to move it down. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to get it here. There we go. And then this needs to be kind of off to the side. I've got it stuck underneath. I advise tying your twine on after instead of before. There we go. Now let's, it says then, Add the watercolor piece to your card base. So here's our card base. It really is cute. So I'm going to use some of my snell to adhere it. I don't know if they have dimensionals popped up. Yeah, it says they use dimensionals on it, but I'm going to put it on without. It's really cute. So look at that. Isn't that cute? It's so cheery. But I advise tying the twine after the fact. This way you can get this on where you need to get it, and you're ready to go. All right, but don't forget to tie it on before you put it on the base and it, you're going to put it on with dimensionals but I think it looks really cute even if you don't use the dimensionals and then it fits right in the envelope and you're ready to send it off okay so there's the card so let's do the now it says stamp the tags we need a tag as desired so you can stamp it half of a watermelon which I think I'm going to do it half I think I'm going to do it the half watermelon. This part is the Emerald Envy. And it is at the bottom. Sorry if my head gets in view. Trying to get to the edge there. So that's the Emerald Envy. And then we're going to do the Melon Mambo for the watermelon. I have several clear blocks. I don't know why I keep taking them off and off. <laughs> and there's a little space between. Oh, that's so cute. And then the sentiment is at the top. Let's see, which one do we want? A little something sweet. Let's do that one. And I think I'm going to do that one in Emerald Envy, too. I don't know how it shows it. Let's see. Yeah, they have it in Emerald Envy. Uh-oh. 
piece of paper. Well, that's the dimensional backing. <laughs> a little something sweet. That's going to be a great one to use on my treat boxes. I need to... Okay. This is really cute. Another thing is if you like this has a little bit right there that is not see if I can find my emerald MV. It didn't stamp all the way. I'm just gonna take my this is a little trick. Just take your stamp and write marker and fill it in. There you go. Perfect. All right, so now the bag. This tag is adorable. So for Okay, so now for the bag. My video turned off, so I'm sorry that this is a little bit um, messed up. My video turned off, so it cut off right when I was going to share how to put the bag together, so I'm going to take it from there. So here is the bag. And it says to score on all of the score marks. So these will go in the side pieces. And then the bottom will fold in here. And it has the adhesive right on here, so you don't even have to add adhesive. Fold those that over and then your bottom. Remove the adhesive here. Let me grab my so we'll grab the adhesive there and then just adhere it. And then when you squeeze it together, it folds flat. So then you can open it. We'll add our watermelon. Isn't that adorable? The watermelon tissue paper. And then you just take one of the watercolored banners, your little tag that you made, and then one of the little clothespins and just attach it to the front just like this. So that's it. Isn't it adorable? So if you want to order Paper Pumpkin, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and order straight from my blog. Just hit the Paper Pumpkin button and it'll take you to the shop to order Paper Pumpkin. So here is the card and the little bag. Is that not adorable? So this has really been a fun project. So I hope you enjoyed it and until the next video, I'll catch you later. Bye.